in this episode, we're going to be making the golf cart drive, uh, not be as loud, and actually run better. So I've got the cheapest exhaust I can get on Amazon. It's a car exhaust. It's small enough to fit in there. Throttle cable. The little throttle cable clips, which ran away. Sprocket. Chinese stuff. So yeah, that thing's going to run. First step is figuring out where to put the exhaust. So this big rusted, rusted monstrosity is the stock exhaust. It did blow out right here. I don't even know how that's possible. But I'm gonna cut it up and use it for bits and pieces to make that one work. So with this existing header, I'm gonna take this, this bend out and it's just gonna be a straight pipe from here to up there. That way it'll give me more room to work with. So I'm gonna get to cutting this thing off. So this monstrosity is the golf cart muffler. I took a washer and welded it to the top of the exhaust and the pipe fit right in there. It's still hot, it's smoking. Uh, I'm not, that's a, a hanger that mounts to the engine directly so this thing won't be bouncing all around and such. And I just, uh, this was the old exhaust pipe from the other motor. I cut and made that work and had to do some weird scab patch thing over here. Just, yeah. It's a whole hot mess. <laughs> but it's going to work. It's, it's heavy. But then again, it is a car exhaust. So hopefully this makes the golf cart nice and quiet. But now, since that's cooling down, um, it's time to work on the making that thing run better stuff. Uh, so it turns out I didn't have to take the motor out to put the uh, air boot on. So there's just a little bit of clearance. I snuck it up in there. So now I've got everything bolted up. Just look at that, man. That looks sweet. Got the muffler all hooked up. The crankcase uh, little filter. It's just looking good. I even got some throttle uh, return springs on it. Got one here just in case this one fails, so she snaps back good. I'm gonna see how she sounds with a new muffler on it. That thing is quiet. Yeah, that's not loud at all. Gonna let it warm up. This thing's awesome. So I need a new gas line because this one is it's brittle and it doesn't seal. So I gotta get some gas lines that fit. So I'll replace all these. It won't stay running and it's leaking gas. But it's cold. What do you think? So the sun is setting and uh it's getting it's getting pretty cold out here. I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and put the chain on it and the sprocket and try to find some gas line. I probably just hit the nap in town. So chain, sprocket, gas line, and oh, and the throttle cable. I gotta figure out a way to make it hook to the actual gas pedal. So that's for tomorrow. And then this thing will be drivable. Then I gotta put the battery in it and break up electric start. Electric start. So I've taken the key box on the 420 all apart. So this is the ignition key. And this is a little switch. That was the push button one, but I broke the push button, so I put a toggle switch on it. I'm gonna use these existing holes right here. This one I'm gonna drill out a little bigger so 
I can screw on the key lockdown nut, and this is where the key will be, and this will be the on ignition will be. So key start on. Just using this was the choke, and this was a little sensor light. Don't need lights. And now I can start it without having to lift the seat up. And now it's time for to put the sprocket on it and give this thing some propulsion. Um, I'm waiting on a throttle cable. It should be here today. But once that gets here, this thing should be ready to rip. And then I got to rewire the lights because they aren't working. I'm going to run a really short chain from the torque converter to the axle sprocket. And since this is an axle, I should have gearing. Well, I will have gearing forward, reverse, and neutral. So that's pretty cool. I'll get to it. I uh, just got the chain hooked up. I ended up going with a 40 series chain instead of a 41. You can see the difference here. 40, 41. It's quite a bit thicker. Should hold up to the power. But yeah, she is in there. Really small. We're gonna give it a test while fire and put it in gear and see if she rolls. Gas on, choke on. Phew. Fire it. There we go. Time to go in gear. Forward. Oh yeah, open dip. Propulsion. I'm gonna get all my tools up and then uh, I guess hand throttle it around. All right. Sitting on the gas tank. Forward. Got my brakes right here. Oh. Idle away. moving. Stop. And launch. Oh. It's kind of sketchy. I need a, I definitely need a throttle cable. And I think the gearing needs to be bumped up. But for now, she runs, she drives. So I'm not going to lie, I've kind of stumped myself. Um, to make this thing go faster, I would need a bigger front sprocket and a smaller rear. I think I can find a smaller rear, but it's only going to be a drop down of a couple teeth. I really need to get a bigger front sprocket, which is a Type C, and it's, you know, it's the um, torque converter sprocket, or the jack shaft sprocket. So what's probably going to happen is I'm going to have to go out and special order a sprocket. I'll probably just go double the size. And I believe that one is a 10, so if I got a 20 tooth on there, it would be pretty good. And then I could always play with the rear sprocket, because these are easier to find than these ones. So set this one to a specific size. Because originally, this thing had the belt drive on the jack shaft. But I wouldn't be able to fit the 420 in without doing what I've done. So I told I, I mentioned this would take some some playing around, and it's going to take some playing around. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to find the smallest rear size I can find. That'll probably be like a 10 tooth. Order that and double the front sprocket just to flip them and to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. Couldn't hurt, right? But, you know, it's come pretty far. So it's it's nice and quiet. It's electric start. It moves. Doesn't move very fast, but it moves. So I'm going to take the current gearing and just see how fast it will go, 
just by playing with it. I've got this little speedometer app. Let me fire it up. All right. So we're at zero on everything. We're gonna see what it does. Get down there. Tell you what, man, electric start is cool. It's kinda of hard to do one-handed and film. Let's see. Put you down here. So I just went around, ran around my house and floored it and floated the valves. Uh, it goes 11. 11. I need to go 25. To double the speed. Uh, anywho, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna hopefully well, we'll have throttle hooked up. I'll rewire this thing because it doesn't. The lights don't work, or the brake lights. And I need that for town. So lights, throttle, and sprocket gearing. I mentioned before this is gonna be a gearing nightmare. Yep, the nightmare has begun. See ya.